So let's see how Winter 14 allows me to log in from an OpenID Connect provider such as Google into Salesforce. So here I am at um, a Salesforce login page. Um, this has been branded, so that's another Winter 14 feature. Um, I'm, I've come to a unique um, a URL for this page, so Salesforce has uh, activated the branding that's been configured and straight away I can see I can log in with Google so let's go ahead and give it a try so I click the Google button and uh, I actually have a couple of different Google accounts so I get to select the right one I've got it set up on my personal account there and uh, we're into um, a flow that's very like OAuth okay OpenID Connect is built on OAuth I'm getting this authorization screen saying that um, uh, Google Blitz 04 wants to know who I am on uh, Google Plus and uh, that's fine by me I'm going to accept that and then uh, what should happen is a little flicker in the URL bar there and I'm straight into Salesforce and uh, I've defaulted here to this app launcher page and I can go on to uh, say Chatter or Workday, Conquer um, I can leverage Salesforce to go on in turn to other service providers so let's peel back the covers and see what's actually going on here. So I have an authentication provider configured. Now you might remember authentication providers from previous releases. They allowed you to do similar things with um, Facebook and Janrain, other Salesforce orgs. This is a new type of uh, auth provider, uh, which is a more general purpose implementation. It's an OpenID Connect auth provider. Okay, so we've called this one Google and we've put in the uh, configuration here to allow, allow it to work with Google. So basically this is telling um, Salesforce where to send the user to um, get authorization from Google to access those account details. And there's a piece of code that runs. Uh, once that uh, interaction is complete, the user's brought back to Salesforce and here we have a very, very simple implementation uh, of associating uh, users in our org with um, Google uh, users. So what we're saying here is that um, uh, each user has this Google ID uh, custom field and we just look for a match on the identifier that comes in over the wire um, in the user object on that Google ID and that's how we locate the user. So very very simple, the simplest, simplest possible implementation uh, really. This is, you know, there's a bit of manual configuration that's gone on behind this. This is very very early uh, um, uh, demonstration and if I look at my user I'll just uh, refresh this page here, pull a new page down what I can do is go down and see, yes, I've set my Google ID in preparation for this demo. I set the Google ID on that user manually. And uh, I can see the third party account link there. Now, um, it's just because I, I set this demo up kind of on the fly and um, uh, I've not done a lot of work here that there's that manual step. In reality, you would um, set up some enrollment process. So similar to what we've you've seen already maybe with Facebook, um, you hit the site with um, your Google ID. It recognizes that there, there is no match. So we have to log you in and then we can make that association. And if you're wondering where that Google ID actually comes from, you know, if you've got a Google account, you might say, wow, I've never seen this, what is it, 24 character ID? That's crazy. Um, if you go to your Google Plus page, that's basically the number that appears in your profile. So that's that's how I pasted it in there. So there you have it. I uh, logged into Salesforce uh, via Google, and I actually did that for the first time just um, an hour or two ago. It's pretty pretty cool stuff and uh, as I uh, say in the blog post this is going to work with Google and other OpenID Connect providers that's a great thing about it being a standard so uh, you could get this working with PayPal, Amazon and uh, a whole bunch of other providers. Thanks for watching.